Hey guys, welcome back to Green Tea Garden. Today's an up close video. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys right here how to grow a yellow squash in a container and you, you could see it's growing upward. So basically guys, this is called yellow squash, summer squash, and I think they call it a crookneck squash, crookneck yellow squash. I could be right in that. So guys, basically these squash, when you grow them on the ground, they basically come up with a curve and then they will run straight and then the leaves will be all over. It could take over a lot of space in your garden. If you don't have a big garden, and like mine, I don't have a big garden, guys, so this is perfect for you guys if you don't have a big garden. This, you got less space. You, you Simple container, and it runs straight up, you guide it, and it, it's perfect. I have a wooden stake right here. You could put it three inches apart. Even if you guys now grow it in a container and you forgot to put a stake in, it's fine. Make sure you cut the bottom of your stake pointed. At least make the bottom really skinny and try to like twist it in and it will go in right there. This plant has a lot of root. If you take out some of the roots, nothing will wrong with it. Look at mine. I didn't put in this, this piece of stake from early. I actually forgot about it. I recently put it in and the plant is still growing. Now guys, this is a five gallon container. You do want to go five gallons or bigger container when growing this squash. And as you guys could see right here, we have a bunch of squash, over like 15 squash growing in this plant right now. And you gotta remember, in a five gallon soil, it's only this, this much soil. So you gotta remember guys, when growing squash, they grow big leaves, they produce so much fruit, you gotta have a healthy, rich soil. So make sure guys, use your compost, use your fertilizer, use everything you got. Put every week, check the soil. After watering guys, your soil will keep going down. Refill your soil, make it fresh guys. Add a little extra water to this plant because in a container, you do need that. Now if you guys are wondering what happened to all my leaves on the bottom, I pruned them out guys. As the, from the, the reason why I pruned them out because it was so much leaves, the bees can't even get into pollinate. You know, it's too much leaf, and then the plant is using so much energy to just produce leaf, and then you know you need more energy to produce the fruit. So you got to remember: do we need all the leaves? No, we don't need all the leaves. At the end of this video, I'm gonna leave the video right there to show you how to prune your zucchini and squash. And trust me, guys, it works. If you live in Zone 7A, Long Island, New York, like me, you got to prune. We only got a couple months, guys. So within that couple months, we don't want our plant to just grow all leaves. You know, and take up all that time. We want to harvest many things we can because in the wintertime, we want to make sure we go in our freezer or go in our mason jar and we still have fresh stuff in there, all right? So check out how to prune it guys start off right a five gallon container i do have i think i like right around here i had some home compost so i'll normally put in some soil i'll put in some home compost and then i put in more soil and in the top i put in uh, green grass what i'm gonna do guys i'll just take out all this dry grass maybe another two days i'll just take them out it's easy look when you grab them like that they come right out and I'm just gonna um, throw them out and put fresh green grass. I cut my own grass, so I always have green grass. So green grass is really good, guys. Give it a good boost of um, nitrogen and other stuff. And as you guys could see, now you gotta start guiding your plant. You, after you get a stake, stake it in within three, four inches apart. I try to bring it close as possible. I would say three inches good. And you could see I use one of the garden twine right there. I have the twist one, so I could just keep twisting. So I basically tied here, and as we're coming up on the stake, I, I got one more here. And if it's a little loose, guys, these, what I love about them, I made extra. I could keep twisting it to make it tighter. So that's a pretty good thing. So you see, this one is loose. I'm going to tie that up. Be careful when you touch these guys. These things have their spikes. You guys should at least stake down a four to six feet stake. Guys, this variety of uh, yellow squash that I have, they don't grow really too big, guys. And um, like this, I could, I could always, I'll harvest these guys in another couple days. And once I harvest the bottom one, the plant could, you know, bring up the energy to help the other little one keep growing. And as you guys could see, this is so much female flowers. There's a bunch of male flowers too. Like this is a male flower right here. But you could see how much fruit, how much female flower. And I mean, look at that. Look, look right at this. It's easy about six of them right there, guys. So this plant is just producing 
I mean, literally just producing. So I literally cut off. You can see I cut off leaf right through and I stop up to here because you see there's one close here. But as we're going, I'm going to be, guys, when I'm pruning like this, I don't prune the one close to the fruit sometimes. I try to leave those. But if it's big and it's in the way, I'll take it. But most of the time, I'll cut the one next to the male flowers. Look, there's like double coming down over there and stuff. This is pretty exciting and pretty cool. And as I said, growing your squash in a cont container and keep it upward, you save a lot of space in your garden. And if you have a small garden, guys, as I said, this works great, guys. If you want to get your hand on these containers, check in a link in the description, guys. I have a bunch of stuff that I use there. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching Green Tea Garden. Hopefully, the video was helpful. And if you have any question about growing squash in a container, guys, please uh, ask. Feel free. Uh, if you guys have any awesome tips that you guys want to share or you want to share your secret, share your secret with us. It's safe, guys. We're all gardeners, so we all want to grow a better garden. And guys, don't forget, if you're new, subscribe to my channel. It will help up my channel a lot. It's free, guys. And if you click on the bell icon, it's 100% 100, 100 free, guys. And every time I upload a video, you guys will get it right away. And it's all about gardening, guys. And you're going to be joining the Green Tea family and enjoying gardening with me, guys. And I'm in Long Island, New York.